Okay, day 18 of Advent of the Code. Here we go. I see. Okay, this is easy. Um, surface area is just number of key. Okay, yeah. I didn't read it right, that's fine. I was just trying to go fast. Number of sides of each cube. Oh, number of sides, okay. Oh, that lockout's gonna kill me. Um, okay. So, if it's not, then we're just gonna add one to this. Okay, so that's my answer. But I'm locked out. Oh, that was, that was killer. I guess I'll try the sample to make sure it works while I'm waiting. I still have my old answer, so. 64, yeah, my old answer is pretty right. We'll get rid of this. 18 seconds, it's gonna kill me. 12. No! Can I still make leaderboard? Three, two, Okay, rank 69. Nice. Exterior surface area. Oh, pockets are trapped. Oh, shoot. Um, okay. So here's what we'll do. Um, how do I get interior? Basically, I want to flag these as, let's, let's do this, let's set this to 1, um, and I think what I'll do is, no, how do I, how do I trap these things? I have an idea for a heuristic, but I don't think it'll work. Um, I guess I will just DFS. Um, I need to save that out here. Uh, here's what we'll do. Um, let's find the min. Yeah, let's do. For like the min and max for all three of these. Okay, so basically zero to like 30. Um, um, it could be less than 30, but I'll like pull off this for now. So basically the idea is we're just gonna Fill this. So if we ever, if we ever escape and touch something external, 
Okay, let's do Okay. Um Okay. And if um let's set to C. And then we have additional condition, which is if we escape. So if if we escape, um, then we also just return. So we have like a bounding box. Um, yeah. Uh, in that case, I actually want to go from like minus five for reasons that are a little bit nuanced. Um, So if we escape this bounding box, we just return. So we're going to flood fill starting at 2. And what we'll do is um, we're just going to DFS on, oh, whoops. I don't actually need a C instead. That's fine. Um, set it to C. That's good. OK, I, J, K, and then N, C. And then if G, I, J, K. Um, that should be fine, okay, and now we're only going to, so if this is equal to the color of like minus 4, minus 4, minus 4, then it's external, we're going to print R. Um, what does it not like? Uh, we got to pass the color through. Ooh, that's a little unfortunate. Um, I don't think it should be that bad though. How slow is it? Uh, okay, it restarted the shell. That's not good. Let's try and make this bound a little tighter. Um, I think it was 21, 21, 21. Okay, so 23, 23, 23. That should be fine. Still restarting. Uh, I don't have an infinite loop here, do I? I shouldn't. Why am I re revisiting? Oh, sorry, the X is changing. Um, that's fine. So I'll also set like a. If I set a death limit, is that going to kill me? Um, I don't think so. How how deep is it really going? This should be thirty cubed. That's not that deep. This is definitely a problem here. Um, yeah, if it's not equal to zero, then we just return up. We also return up if it's not in these ranges. Um, maybe do these checks first. I doubt that would make a difference. I must have a bug in here. Just track the depth. Does it like never recurse up? We're setting them to one. G shouldn't be getting too big. Why is twenty eight hundred the limit? I'm so confused. Do I need to do like flood fill expansion or something? This is ridiculous. I totally have a what could the bug be? No way. Why is that the recursion death limit? <laughs> um, okay. I don't know if that'll fix it or not, but keeping the answer. That's way too big. Um, oh, whoops. This is bad. We don't want to do this. Um,
We only care about these. Was that the bug? No, I don't think it could be. Actually, maybe it could be. Oh, whoops. No, that wasn't. Okay. Uh, we'll add this back in again. Um, it could be bad, but... No. Yeah. This is definitely a bug. So, very different answer. It seems to change quite a bit. Probably because it's blocking off places. What? What the heck is this? How many regions does it fill? That's a lot. Um, I guess we'll do stack-based DFS. Um, These are all just going to become continues. Um, otherwise, There we go. Rank 92. Uh, I don't know why that kept blowing up. The stack space in Python should not be anywhere near that small. I don't know what I was doing wrong there that caused the shell to keep restarting. But that's pretty pretty depressing that that killed me so much. Um, oh man. Yeah, and what happened here? I fell a little, I think. Let's see. Oh, when did I have my first submission? I don't know, but it was definitely a few minutes before. And then this one I got locked out. Yeah, that was definitely a bit rough. Um, yeah, so I got locked out for a minute. I had the answer at, I think I resubmitted the correct answer at 37 seconds. So if it weren't for lockout, um, then I would have, or sorry, I had 30 seconds, 37 seconds left. So I would have been like 203. No, that's so sad. That's a, That's really high up here. And it would have been like a whole minute less if I hadn't written the bug. It would have been 140, which would have been just insane. That would have been uh, top 10. But alas, it was not meant to be. Today, I was uh, writing bugs. Or, sorry, that wasn't really writing a bug. That was, for the first part, that was just me misreading the question. I had thought that it cared about, like, like in hindsight, this was an obvious mistake. But I thought it cared about... Um, the number of cubes that were like on the surface and were exposed to the air. Um, but what it actually wanted was the number of faces. Um, so like a, a single cube can have a, what, how many faces does a cube have? Um, wait, 10 sides, what? Oh, oh, I see, this is two cubes. Yeah, well, one cube can have like six sides, so it could contribute six if it were like not at all attached, but but yeah, that's uh, that's day eighteen. Um, definitely a lot simpler day. Uh, part two was about so yeah, the explanation here. Uh, I guess I'll explain what I did. Yeah. Um, so basically, the idea is that what you can do is you can just check for each cube. You can like look at the six adjacent cubes and see if those have been set. Um, and the easiest way to do this is to stuff them all into a um, I guess it should, should have done like a set, not a default dict, but it doesn't really matter. Um, you stuff them into a set or s something like that, and then you check if the adjacent one is present. Um, and if the adjacent one is present, then uh, we are not bordering the air. Uh, if there is no adjacent one present, then we are bordering the air. Um, and we, we add one to the counter. But 
Yeah. Um, hmm, excuse me. Um, and then part two says, oh, there's actually some like pockets of air trapped inside of the surface. And we don't care about those. Um, and the idea is that like you want to DFS to fill all those pockets. Um, and I wrote a DFS and it filled the pockets, but it kept blowing up because it was hitting the stack limit, I guess. Um, I kind of still can't believe that, but but yeah. Um, and eventually I changed my DFS to be a stack-based DFS, like, sorry, an explicit stack data structure instead of the, uh, the recursive approach. The recursive approach is just so much faster to write, but it's definitely less efficient because there's like overhead of recursion. Um, and this just worked instantly. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's uh, day 18. I will uh, call the recording here.